It's like summer, Pamela, finally. <laughs> yeah, it feels like summer right on schedule. May 4th is typically when we see our first 80 degree day, and we're just a couple days before it. But the heat is going to stick around 80 plus through at least Friday. There's a chance of some thunderstorms Thursday night and also again Friday night. We'll go through that timing, especially for Thursday, as some could be strong, perhaps an isolated severe threat too. The weekend looks drier, a bit cooler, but all around very gorgeous. Temperatures now have soared into the 80s, 84 in Boston, 87 in Norwood. We may get close to 90 degrees in Fitchburg before the day is all done. And we have 190 reported right now. Marshfield Hills, the first 90 degree temperature rating. 88 in Pembroke, 86 degrees in Duxbury. So we're getting closer if you are heading to the beach. Be careful. Ocean water temperature running very cold, so it takes about 30 minutes for hypothermia to develop. 48 with the buoy just off the south shore there. 86 degrees right on the beach, but that water temp 44 to 48 degrees. And the high tide just later this afternoon. Your Fenway Park forecast if you're heading to the game, 105 first pitch, 84 warm and breezy, and you can leave all the rain gear at home. We will keep it dry for the rest of today. Temps in the upper 80s, a real summer feel. And we stay low. The humidity not a factor until tomorrow. Overnight tonight, 65, staying very warm under a mostly clear sky. Tomorrow's highs, again, similar to what we are experiencing this afternoon, mid to upper 80s, while along the south coast, Cape and Islands, slightly cooler as we have that southwest wind, keeping temps in the 60s or low 70s. Hour by hour, Thursday morning, you're waking up to mostly clear skies, no rain on the radar, no storms just yet. But a cold front is going to move in from the north and west. And we have more humidity, so we have the instability as well with the sunshine. That's going to trigger some scattered thunderstorms. Those storms approaching central and eastern Massachusetts between 3 and 5 o'clock. Those storms around the Boston area just in time for the evening commute. Some of these storms could be strong perhaps an isolated severe thunderstorm too. Damaging wind would be the main threat and we could see some Boeing segments with these storms which would indicate the wind would be the biggest issue here. Wind gusts and isolated thunderstorm threat continues until about sunset Thursday. Then we refuel the atmosphere will be cloudy overnight Friday but mostly dry to start off Friday morning. So Thursday evening potential storm impacts damaging wind. There will be some with that. It just depends if we'll see if we get enough instability enough sunshine to erupt those thunderstorm chances heavy rain and lightning would be the other hazard as well. Can't rule out the possibility of maybe a brief tornado out across the northern and western parts of New England, but otherwise looking okay here in Boston. Dew point temperatures right now in the 40s, but as we look to our south and west, 60s not too far away. Those dew points in the 60s will make it feel uncomfortable, and those arrive for Thursday and will stick around for Friday. Highs in the mid 80s, Thursday, Friday 82. Thunderstorm chance again. That cold front moves all the way through by Saturday. We cool off to 76 degrees, but gorgeous. Just a weekend Sunday 70 back to you all right